Welcome back to MMA Surge. I'm your host, The Squid. Today we're gonna go over three different ways you can defend when someone puts an underhook on you. All right, so now let me bring Simon in to demonstrate. So, Simon puts an underhook on me. So, first thing when someone puts an underhook on you, you want to overhook back. What, basically what that is, is I'm going to put my arm through his armpit and clamp down. So that's your first thing. Just to make his underhook a little less strong is to clamp down on it. So you see we're kind of open here. If I want to even up this position, I want to underhook him. So basically we both have the same position. I have an underhook, he has an overhook. I have an underhook, he has an overhook. So, this is one way you could do just to even the position up to not be you know, taken advantage of. The second way, let's say I don't really want to grapple with the guy too much. He puts his underhook on me. I do the same thing. I clamp down with his overhook. Now I take my free hand, put it on his neck. I make my hand like this. I put it on his neck, and then I grab my wrist. So right here, Simon, you're uncomfortable? He's uncomfortable. So. He's uncomfortable here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extend my arms away. So this puts him in a really bad position. It puts him in a spot where all he sees is my knee, and you, this is a really good way to control a guy. You could control a guy, I could snap him down, I could trip him back, I could trip him back. You have a, a ton of different options here. You even, I could even just, my, one of my favorite things to do from here is be here, and I release my hand on the neck, and I drop this short elbow, and I come back, boom. Short elbow, boom. Short elbow, knee. And if I, if I want to submit the guy or something, I could go right into my guillotine from here. So that's number two, is this clamp down push away position. Three, a little more advanced, you probably haven't seen this really, but he puts an underhook on me. I'm gonna grab his far wrist and I'm gonna swing it towards me. So most people have the perception when someone puts an underhook on you, this hand, you know, you, you can't really do anything with it. Wrong. I'm gonna pass it along and I'm gonna grab his tricep here. So essentially what's happen is, happening is I'm controlling two of his arms with one arm. So I could be here, I could throw little short shots in, I could take his back, I could come here, take him down, I could trip him over. I have a, I have a, t a, a lot of options here. So underhook on me, grab the wrist, pass it along, I'm gonna reach really high, grab his tricep, then I'm gonna tuck it along and pull him against my body. Grab along his back and I wanna hold him and I can just jump behind and take his back. So those are your three ways, they're all, they're all a little different. It kinda of depends on which opponent you have and what you kinda of wanna achieve. If I wanna strike on him, I do one thing. If I wanna grapple, I do one thing. If I wanna submit him, I do another thing. All right, so now that I showed you how to defend against the underhook. I'm gonna show you three offensive techniques you could use against it. So he puts me in the underhook. So the one, we engage in the clinch. Boom, I'm in this under over position. My favorite thing to do as soon as I engage in the under over position is I clamp my elbow down and I lock my hand behind his back like this. So basically taking away the, the power of his underhook. His underhook is strong when he puts it up so I lock my hands and I drop my elbow. So I drop my elbow, keep it nice and tight so he doesn't lift it back up. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna go up on my right foot and you're gonna pivot around and let your leg kind of fly behind the guy. So I'm gonna go like this and basically I'm looking to get my knee behind the back of his thigh. So here. I go here and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to look to bring him over here. So I'm going to lock my hands, I'm going to pull him over my knee so he's getting tripped by my knee. I'm going to turn him towards his back. Boom. So I'll show again. As soon as the guy puts the underhook on me, I engage. Boom. Show one more time. So you can kind of hit this right away as soon as he Gets his underhook on here. That's number one. Number two, 
he puts his underhook on me. I get my overhook, hand on the neck. I push him away. When you push him away here, you can't wait. You have to immediately start striking. So a really good combo you could do is a elbow knee combo. So I release my left hand, I elbow him. And my hand's still in pretty good position to grapple. So my free hand pulls him into here and you come right back to this position. You can kind of repeat, I could knee him and boom. That's number two. And three, puts me in this underhook, grab this wrist, pass it across, get him nice and tight. So I'll turn my back so you can see this. I'm gonna drop down, and I'm gonna lock my arm, I'm gonna wrap my arm around his thigh. And you see his arms are kind of trapped. I could just hit my double leg from here. So I'll show again. As his underhook, I'm here. I'm gonna drop my head down, put my hand on, his, on the back of his uh, leg. And when I'm ready, other hand drops down, drive with my head to the right, take him down. Those are basically your three, three ways you can be offensive when the guy has an underk on you and you know, make the guy really not wanna get back to that position ever again with you. All right, so let's recap these three positions. One, when the guy puts an underhook on you, if you want to defend, hit him with the underhook. Make the position even. If you want to attack, you could hit that throw, lock your hands, jump around, trip him over the knee, get your takedown. Second one, the guy puts an underhook on you, come with a really tight overhook, hand on the neck, lock your hand, push him away. If you want to be offensive from here, drop your elbows, pull your knee, you know, just really strike the guy. It's a, it's a great position, you can push him away, find a lot of success. And the third one is when the guy puts an underhook on you, you grab his wrist, you feed his wrist to your free hand, lock it up, and from here, hit your takedown, get on top, finish the guy. So those are the ways you defend against an underhook. If you have any other position you'd like to learn how to defend against, leave a comment, let us know which ones you want, and I'll do it on the next episode. I'm The Squid, and I'll see you next time on MMA Surge.